for the first out here. Always forever and iron shoe and going quickly now is Flamber and outside at Queen Kahuna. Brightside eases back. Settling down Queen Kahuna outside Flamber the fence. A length iron shoe. A length and a half then Brightside got up fourth inside Innocent Baby and always forever is out three wide. A length and a half further back, Pia Vonick, and on the inside of it, Fellow Shep. Through the gap they go, Flamber just in front of Queen Kahuna. Iron Shoes to the outside, running third, trying to push out on the fence as Brightside. Innocent Baby back on the inside, a length, Pia Vonick from Always Forever. And last of all, Fellow Shep before the turn. And it's Flamber and Queen Kahuna, two lengths in front of Brightside. And Innocent Baby to the outside from Always Forever. Then Pia Vonick, they straighten up, Flamber, Queen Kahuna. Innocent Baby running on and Brightside trying to get clear behind them. Nowhere to go as Innocent Baby. He hits the front, 150 out. Pia Vonick after it from Fellowship, then Brightside. But Innocent Baby is racing away from Pia Vonick. Innocent Baby, a good win. A length and a half, Pia Vonick, a half third Fellowship. A gap then Brightside. Not the best of luck on the turn, but well beaten. Then Flamber and Queen Kahuna. They ran over the top of those leaders from Always Forever and tailed off as Iron Shoe. And winner seven, Innocent Baby, 10.30, Pia Vonick, 190. Two Fellowship, 250. On the Super Tab, the winner there, number seven, uh, Innocent Baby, to pay 880, the win 240, the place. Six, Pia Vonick, second, to pay 170, and third, Fellowship, number two, at 250. Seven, six, two o'clock now. Race one, Morfordville, five, one, two, five, the winner. North Racing this time. From the inside, just a little slowly away, Music Man and Catbird jumped with gusto. Choo Chow Kid got out well and so did Dangerous. Canadian Pacific is not far away, followed by Dan Rebo and then Music Man picking up some lost ground after that tidy beginning. Samithia next to last and Masai drops out to last to the 800 they travel and Catbird is a clear-cut leader now from Canadian Pacific. About two and a half third is Dangerous at this stage with Choo Chow Kid on his outside. About a half length away and three or four to Music Man and then Dan Rebo, Samithia, and Masai is last. Past the 600, and the leader is Catbird by a length and a half, Canadian Pacific. Dangerous, a similar margin, third. A length and a Chew Chow Kid, followed by Music Man and Messiah. Around the corner, and Catbird straightens up about two lengths on Dangerous, going after him in earnest. Two and a half to Chew Chow Kid, and then Messiah, and Canadian Pacific has dropped off down to the 200. And Dangerous starting to go after Catbird, but Catbird still more than a length clear. Dangerous can't pick him up at the moment, a long gap to Messiah, but it's all Catbird. Dangerous a length and a half away second, then Messiah, but Catbird pretty well all the way. And Catbird three quarters to Dangerous. They straighted the nearest horse in third spot, Messiah, and then Chuchar Kid, Music Man, followed by Samithia. Another ten to Canadian Pacific, and six or seven last was Dan Rebo. On the super tab, number one, Catbird, trained by Frank Cleary, to pay 240 the win, 110 the place. Two, Dangerous at $1 even money back, and three, Messiah, third at $1.90. Catbird there, wearing the Clan O'Sullivan colours, uh, asserted his authority and burst away to win in brilliant fashion. He's Ian. Simply too good. Number one, Catbird, written by Mark DeMont for $2.20, has ended up favourite on the New South Wales tote when they jumped away. 2.20 and 1.10. Second to number two, Dangerous, has paid $1.10. And the third placing will be three, Messiah. And $1.80 is the return. So the, the handicapper would be very pleased with himself after the first of the day. One, two, three. Catbird by Dane Hill from Fitting, a mask K-Mare. He's a two-year-old bay cult owned by Mr. Ken Jones, Jr. and Mrs. E. Jones, trained for them by Frank Cleary from Queenbean and written by Mark de Montfort. Dangerous second, he's a Bay Colt two by Dane Hill from Antwerp, John Hawkes, Larry Cassidy and three Messiah by Marauding from Queen of Show, a Chestnut Colt two, Graham Rogerson, Shane Dye and the fourth went to number five, Chu Char Kid. Now the time will be of interest here. They've clocked 1.10.72. Off Canberra. And that's a good gallop. 1.10.72, the record... About gate three, they're off and running. Harris and Dora a little bit slow to get going. Juga Seal and Fitzgerald had no pace, and Blue Danzig out running from the outside. Moved a length and a half in front, settling down from the Mookster, and Bradshaw now driving forward up second. The Mookster third from Gold Valley fourth. Two for the back, Cooter Grace fifth, and the inside of Cashmere Blue, and they're three in front of Fitzgerald. Jugar Seal and two to Harrison Dorr through the gap. 
at the 650 and Blue Danzig about a half in front of Bradshaw, a length and a half Gold Valley, a half further back the Mooks to running fourth, one Cooter Grace fifth, the outside of Cashmere Blue, a gap Fitzgerald and Dugar Seal and five last of all Harrison Dorr. Before the turn now and the leader Blue Danzig about three quarters to Bradshaw. The pressure on it now, it's trying to get out after this leader and they're three in front of Gold Valley and the Mooksta. Cooter Grace hard ridden, these two have singled away though, Blue Danzig and Bradshaw coming at it now. Bradshaw's got up to Blue Danzig, they're three in front of Gold Valley. Bradshaw's a neck in front, Blue Danzig fighting back but Bradshaw a good effort. First up for 13 months and Bradshaw, handy win that by a length and a quarter Blue Danzig. Two away third Gold Valley, then Cooter Grace Fitzgerald to get the Mooksta. Cashmere Blue further back, uh, Dugar Seal and last of all Harrison Dorr. And to Bradshaw, 290, 140, three Blue Danzig, 180, and four Gold Valley, 210. On the Super Tab 2, the winner, Bradshaw the favourite. At 280, the win, 140 the place. Three Blue Danzig, second at 170. Third, four Gold Valley at $2.10. 234, race two, Mooney Valley. Now we're three minutes off a start, Canberra Harness, and David likes two on top. Jerry Mia to beat one and six with the market, David. there and so's Delta Lad and Ripper and then here's the Prince Balmaria and Last Dance With Me. Well they're not loafing in the early stages and at the end of 250 metres Delta Lad on the outside is keeping fear nor honest and they go along together about a length and a half and old Ripper, two and a half then to Master Raider racing on the outside of Dance With Me in the centre. On the fence is Balmaria and here's the Prince another two lengths away. They head along to the first corner near the 1100 metres and Delta Lad on the outside draws clear of fear nor now and working to the high street side it's Delta Lad as the rider has a peep over the right side about a length and three quarters on Fear Nord. Two lengths to Ripper. Similar margin to Master Raider forced to race wide from Balmaria the inside. Between those two horses is Dance With Me and a couple of lengths to Here's the Prince. Down past the 700 they travel. Little or no change in the order. Delta Lad a half length on Fear Nord. Two and a half to Ripper. And then Balmaria followed by Dance With Me who's pegged away on the inside of the favourite Master Raider. And Here's the Prince is last and about eight off the lead. Delta Lad will head for home in front by only a half length on Fionor. Two lengths to Ripper and Balmaria on the inside. A couple to Master Raider being hard ridden and then dance with me and here's the Prince. Fionor got past Delta Lad and as they raced out of the 250, Fionor the leader. Old Ripper's battling on well, followed then by Balmaria at a gap to dance with me and here's the Prince. Fionor in front, a hundred to go from Ripper. Nothing else a chance. Fionor ridden for dear life by Lenny Beasley is going to be too good and Fionor wins from Ripper, here's the Prince and Master Raider. Then Dance With Me, followed by Delta Lad and Balmaria, dropped out to finish at the tail of the field. Too good. Num On the Super Tab 2, Fiennor to pay 420 the win, 250 the place, 5 Ripper second at $6.90, and no third, here's the Prince number one. We'll quickly cross out to Dave. Thanks a lot, Greg. 231 out here in the all clear. Jerry Mia Neil Day beating MPJ and Dynasty Bound. Four and three quarters, four and a half, two ten point six. Mile rate two one point five. A smart win to the favourite in race two, all clear. Near Day, but here's Ian. Number two, Fionor, ridden by Lenny Beasley, has paid four dollars twenty in New South Wales on the win tote and two forty for the place. Number two, Fionor is first. Number five will be second, Ripper. He ran a very good race this afternoon at $5 and there'll be no third tote for the number to be semaphored in just a matter of moments. Here's the Prince on the outside. We'll get up for third. The time for the race was 1.36.05. 1.36.05. The class record is 1.33.88. And the winner, Fionor, is trained here by John Sires for SM, Mrs. YV, TC and Mrs. M. A. O'Kelly. There's a bag gelding, a six-year-old by Rutland from Fairy Planet. He's been a very, very good horse, this fella. Very honest, and Len Beasley, the winning rider. He scored by a half a length, with a length and a half between second and third, the first 800 in 47.8, and the last 600 in 36.23. The runner-up there, number... Signal, they're off and running. Left in a beautiful line with Cradle Snatcher out, running from the outside. 
Uh, lead length and a half settling now from Priority Paid and with those is Perfect Arc and Yellow Star, the widest runner. A length and a half further back, Regal Ice, Bell Bain and Vianetta and three further back, Smidgen couldn't go early and last of all, Oregon Star. Cradle Snatcher has crossed to the fence, led by a length now to Perfect Arc. A length and a half, Priority Paid and then Yellow Star. Regal Ice fifth but out three deep, two further back, Bell Bain, Vianetta the inside, three to Smidgen, two to Oregon Star. Inside the 700 metre mark and Cradle Snatcher down on the fence about three quarters in front as he backs a speed off from Perfect Dark and Yellow Star is up three on the outside and Regal Ice four out. Two further back priority paid from Belbane. Smidgen starting to wind up to the outside. A gap Vianetta and Oregon Star. Cradle Snatcher again tried to sprint on the turn. Got a half in front of Perfect Dark and moved a length in front of Perfect Dark. A length Yellow Star and then Smidgen priority paid and Belbane and Vianetta. Cradle Snatcher with a big lead 200 to go though. Kicked away three in front now. Perfect Dark trying hard. Out wide Smidgen coming with a late run from priority paid. Cradle Snatcher getting tired but two in front smidgen finishing hard but cradle snatcher finds the line just over a length smidgen a length away third bell bane oregon star jumped out of the ground to run fourth out deep then yellow star from priority paid vianetta perfect arc dropped out and regal ice near the tail and the one of five cradle snatcher 250 140 three smidgen 230 six bell bane at 220 on the super tab number five cradle snatcher to pay 250 the win, 140 the place, second three smidgen at two dollars even and six third bell ban to pay one dollar ninety five three six race three the valley as we pop out to exhibition park with the late mail in Rickson. <laughs> 